Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are going to learn about the services UUID for the advertisement. We will continue learning the advertisement in details and today we are going to learn about the services. So in order to learn uh, about the services, we first we need to know what are the UUIDs. So let's start. So UUID stands for Universally Unique Identifier and uh, it's a 128-bit or 16 bytes of uh, value. There are two types of UUIDs that are available. Uh, the first one is the standard UUID, which is a 16-bit UUID and a custom UUID, which is defined by the users. So the standard UUIDs are defined by the SIG, which is Special Interest Group. This is the group which uh, defines the uh, protocol specifications of Bluetooth. So they have defined a 16-bit uh, value in order to increase the transmission efficiency uh, because uh, every time for a service UUID, we have to send 128-bit or in other sense, 16 bytes of and data. So this would uh, consume a lot amount of uh, space uh, in the advertisement packet. So in order to reduce the burden, uh, from the advertisement packets, uh, they have uh, come up with an idea of a 16-bit UUID. Uh, it's basically called the standard UUID. We only send 16-bit of data in the advertisement packet and uh, the remaining bits are assembled uh, by the receiving device. In this way, uh, it becomes 128-bit again. So it's basically like this uh, that uh, you have a 16-bit part uh, of the UUID and the other remaining part is already on the scanner side, the scanning device side. So it only receives uh, this part and it then uh, joins it together to make it a full 128-bit UUID. For example, we have a heart rate uh, service UUID which is 0x180D. So uh, when we, we set this value and transmit this value, the receiving device will collect and join the data uh, to make it a full UUID. So how it's going to do that? Uh, the standard UUIDs have uh, the base UUID as same. So this it will always be the same for the standard UUIDs, this part and uh, only this part would change. So uh, here we will add our 16-bit uh, service UUID. So in this case, it's 180D. Uh, so the remaining part is uh, similar. So the scanner will just add uh, this part uh, once it receives uh, this standard UUID. Now we have another type of uh, UUID, which is a custom UUID, which is also 128-bit and it's defined by the programmer or the users. So we can also define a custom UUID. In custom UUID, let's suppose that this base address is similar. So we just need to define uh, this part of the ID. Make sure this base address, uh, this all base address should not be the same as uh, this. Otherwise, it would not work. So for example, this is the base address and uh, this is the custom UUID. So uh, we will just uh, use this custom UUID uh, and we can uh, send this so that the users uh, can uh, send their custom UUIDs. So in this way, every service has a UUID, a unique user identifier. So in this way, Bluetooth devices recognize which service is for what purposes and it can easily access its data uh, through its uh, unique identifier. The standard UUIDs, uh, which are defined by SIG Group, they have standardized their UUIDs. So for the services, they have defined a range from 0x1800 to 0x26FF. This range will be used to identify the services. The uh, range from 0x2700 to 0x27FF uh, will be used uh, to identify the unit of measurement. It's used to define what type of uh, data is available. And uh, then we have a 0x2800 to 0x28FF. It's used to 
uh, distinguish or dis differentiate between the attributes, attribute types, and uh, then we have 0x2900 to 0x29ff uh, are basically used for the characteristic descriptions. The characteristic descriptions are always uh, mentioned uh, within these uh, UUIDs. The other UUIDs, the remaining UUIDs, are used for the characteristic types. The, in this way, the SIG has organized uh, the UUIDs so that uh, it's easier for the devices to recognize if it's in this range, uh, then it's uh, uh, going to be a service UUID. If it's in this range, then it's going to be a unit of measurement. If it's in this range, it, it's going to be attribute types. If it's in this range, it's going to be characteristic description. And if it's in this range, then it's going to be the characteristic types. So now let's come to the service UUID. Sometimes our advertising devices also contain the service UUIDs to show what type of services they support. In order to let uh, the connecting device know what our device is capable of, we send some service UUIDs in our advertisement packets. The advertisement might contain a full list of uh, service UUIDs or sometimes only a single service UUID is added in the advertisement packet. For example, I would just add a, a heart rate service UUID in the advertisement packet. Or I might uh, add a list of UUIDs in which I would add a, a heart rate service, a DIS, which is a device information service, and so on. So in this way, we can add multiple service UUIDs or we can add only a single or a list of UUIDs. So there are many standard uh, services and uh, their UUIDs which are defined by SIG Group. We can uh, go into their website to check it out. If we want to include these uh, UUIDs uh, which are either standard or custom, we have the following options. The first one is the partial 16-bit service UUID. If you just want to include a partial UUID, only the 16-bit or a complete service UUID uh, in 16-bit, then you can uh, select this option. You have also a 32-bit and then you have a, a 128-bit, which is a full UUID. So for this, you have to include uh, one 128 bit of data so in the advertisement packet it depends on the uh, type of application that you are using so uh, it, it's based on that how do we add a service uuid in advertisement packet first thing is we need to define and initialize the uuid array of type ble uuid underscore t so we will define this type of a variable and uh, in that we will add uh, our uuids for example, HRS, DIS, and so on and so on. And then we are going to add uh, the service UUIDs and the service count value in the advertisement init uh, structure. We are going to add that. And then finally, we will call the BLE advertisement initialization function. Uh, that's how we program this. So let's see the structure of BLE UUID underscore T. So in this structure, we can see two values. Uh, the first one is uh, the unsigned integer 16 uh, bit, and the second one is unsigned eight, uh, unsigned integer 8 bit. So the 16 bit is actually the UUID, and uh, the unsigned 8 uh, is uh, basically the type. So there are three types. Uh, and uh, these types are mentioned here. The first one is if the value is 0x00, then it's going to be BLE UUID type unknown, or it's because it's an invalid UUID. The second type is uh, BLE UUID type BLE. So it means it's uh, one of the standard UUIDs uh, like heart rate service or device information service and so on. And uh, then we have a BLE UUID uh, type vendor type begin. And uh, here uh, we it begins from uh, 0x02. So if this value is 0x02, then uh, it means uh, it's going to be a vendor specific uh, UUID or the manufacturer specific UUID or the custom UUID.
Next, we are going to see the BLE ADV data UUID list underscore T. And uh, this uh, is the structure that uh, defines the list uh, of uh, UUIDs. Uh, here we see two values. The first one is unsigned integer 16 is a UUID count. So it uh, tells like uh, if I'm including uh, two services or two UUIDs, then uh, this count will be two. So this will be the assigned number. Uh, of UUIDs that we want to add in the advertisement packet. Next one is a PUUID and it's basically a pointer of uh, type BLEUUID underscore T at uh, the structure that we have seen in the previous slide. It's basically a pointer and it uh, points to the start of UUIDs array that we have initialized previously. First we will uh, declare that array of UUIDs then we will point uh, them in the advertisement in it uh, using this structure then finally we will initialize the advertisement and uh, now we are going to see how we can program this okay guys now let's start the programming for the service uh, UUID so first of all open this PC go into the C directory here we have NRF5 SDK uh, which is NRF SDK 17 and uh, then go into examples here my projects go into the my projects and then we are just going to copy our base project we will paste it here and let's rename it as and now let's open this and uh, I'm using NRF 52840 so I will open PCA 10056 S1.4.0 is the soft device. I will open a Sager Embedded Studio folder and then open the EM project file. Let's zoom in a little. The first thing we need to do here is we need to define a variable which will hold the values of uh, type BLEUUIDs. So for that, let's define it here. How we are going to let our device know that uh, these are the standard services for that. Uh, as you have seen in the slides, we discussed that uh, the B there are three types. One is unknown, second is BLE type uh, BLE, and uh, the third one is uh, manufacturer or vendor specific or the custom UUID. So here we will set the type. So for now, let's uh, give it a name. Advertisement UUIDs. It's a type of array because it's a list. And now we can include multiple UUIDs and make sure you close it like this. Now let's include the UUIDs. The first UUID that I'm going to add uh, is uh, let's say the heart rate. So for that BLE UUID heart rate service. So we have uh, different UUIDs so we can add uh, any of them like health thermometer service we can add this one it's uh, of uh, standard type so for that we will say BLE underscore type and uh, there are three types of vendor uh, BLE which are the standard and unknown or invalid so I will select the standard okay let's add the another one so this time let's add uh, uh, battery service UUID so BLE UUID and here is the battery service and it's also a standard type so for that BLE UUID type and type BLE and that's it for this one now we have uh, created a, a list of UUIDs for the advertisement and now let's go into the advertisement init function so here is our advertisement init function so let's add the UUIDs over here so for that we need to use this structure init dot adv data dot first we need to tell it if we are going to include the complete UUIDs or uh, we are just going to include a partial or the list of UUIDs so here in this case I'm going to include the complete UUIDs for that UUIDs complete more available or solicited so I will be selecting the complete and the first thing about this is we need to set uh, the UUID count and uh, let's set this count to we will just use the function to calculate the size of uh, the UUIDs for us so this will uh, 
uh, calculate the size of the UUIDs uh, for us and uh, now after the calculation of the UUID count uh, the next thing we need to do is we have to point to the UUIDs for that UUID is complete make sure this time you also say uh, UUID is complete dot P UUIDs which is a pointer now this time and uh, it will point to that UUIDs list that we created above and uh, here its name is enough because the name of an array is uh, basically uh, pointing towards that array that's it for this and let's save it and let's build the code okay the code is built and uh, make sure your device is connected after building the project now let's click on target connect with the device uh, erase all and now let's download the new uh, code compiled code and once it's uh, downloaded now we have to see uh, in the advertisement for that uh, I have connected my dongle and I will open the NRF connect and I will open the BLE low energy Bluetooth low energy and uh, from here I will select my device and uh, now the device is opened uh, let's start scanning so that I can see uh, my programmed uh, peripheral device so here is my device and uh, here you can see it's advertising its address type is random static and uh, the main thing is it includes the services health thermometer and battery service so it has included that in its advertisement packet so we can see it here so that's it for the services I hope so you have learned something new today uh, and uh, please be sure to support me on my PayPal and Patreon your support will motivate me to make more informative tutorials for you guys if you have any questions you can ask me in the comments below and uh, please be sure to subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching see you in the next video